Hey everyone! So, it's finally here! My new Koude bow violin bow! As you guys know, I had a few bows on trial a little while ago and after trying a couple of bows, I decided to go with the Jules by Koude bow. I ordered this bow in a special color. It is a limited edition color and it's named Polished Prismatic. I saw it and I love it straight away. So let's see what it looks like. <laughs> okay, we're starting with lots and lots of bubble wrap. I am so curious for this color. Okay. Keycord. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> they sent me a Kodobo keycord. Okay. And then, ooh. My, look at, whoa, man. Okay, it comes in a very, very fancy case, I see. And there's a note. Okay, okay. There's a little note on the packaging process saying that every bow is disinfected. Oh. <laughs> okay, I know what I'm going to do on the couch. I'm getting a bit nervous now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, there we are. It looks slightly purple and when the light bounces on it, it starts to look red and blue. This way you can see it. Now it appears um, bluish at the end and then a bit purplish and then reddish. And now the tip looks blue again. I like it. Oh man, I really like it. Okay, I'm very happy with this bow. It really draws a big, strong and clear sound from a violin and it especially makes the bottom strings roar and, and resonate a lot. And this bow is also very suitable to use with electric instruments. Before, when I was playing my electric violin in the band and I was playing the E or A string, it was all fine. But when I played on the G and D string, you could hardly hear me. But this bow does the trick. Um, as for my old violin bow, I'm also keeping that one because this way I have two very different bows. The sound of my old violin bow is warmer and more all round, I guess, while the Jules is very clear and strong. And this way I have two bows for different purposes. If I would play in a string quartet or orchestra, I would probably use my old bow. And for solo things and electric playing, I can use my fancy Jules bow. I like it. And in case you're wondering, oh, in case you're wondering, this bow came with my electric violin. Until now, I kept it as a backup bow, but I'm not sure yet what I should do with it now, but we'll see. Okay, I think 2021 is off to a colorful start this way. And I think I'm going to play some more on my violin now. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in the new year. Bye!